Here we are at the Strathroy Antique Mall, and we have a vendor in the mall that sells antique ginger beer bottles. Ginger beers were stored in these stoneware bottles as far back as the 1830s. They were hand thrown by potters, and every one was different. Some had a bottle name, some a city, a date, or a picture, and it's collected for those reasons, some people look for certain cities, bottler names, or just colors. In the 1800s, they became more of a gray glazed bottles, and they were stamped with logos. Um, they came in all different colors, in purple, red, blues, greens. Some had men on bicycles, locomotives, bears anything to attract the buyer. Stone ginger butter started to fade in the 20s because people started wondering about the health standards because there was sediment at the bottom of the bottles and they just weren't clean and fresh when they drank it and I guess refrigeration would have been becoming the normal thing too for keeping liquids cool so the stoneware bottles weren't as needed. Gingers are usually collected by nowadays the local province, state, country, geographical, local, and many other reasons, colors. The very rare ones are beautiful and very hard to find. You can make yourself some ginger beer. The recipe is easy. You just need to wash lemons and slice them in rings. And after that, you can use ginger root, which is very healthy. Just crush it and mix the lemon, ginger, add some sugar to taste, and cream a tartar in a large bowl. Pour boiling water over top. Stir the mixture and let it cool to lukewarm temperature. After that, you just need to stir in some yeast. And you can leave it for 24 to 48 hours and the yeast will go to work. Once it's done, you can squeeze it. Can you believe that the beer, you believe that the beer came in And enjoy your time? drink. These are ginger beers. All you have to do is skim off the Most yeast and the mixture and strain it. Just bottle it.